Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO live stream. Here we are once again, and we are playing in the new standard format, of course, Sun and Moon on. Very excited to see what happens with this new format. We're going to be testing a bunch of different decks, hopefully getting some good games. Um, so it's all going to be pretty fun. Um, I do have to say this, I'm at my friend's house once again. And uh, yeah, it's going to be pretty good. Hopefully we get some nice matches. I have not played in the new format yet on PDCGO since today. So hopefully we get some good games. I got a bunch of different Pulse Chasing decks to try out. First off, I do want to try out Decidueye Ninetales. Um, there's Buzzwool, Macargo. There's all kinds of decks to try out. Uh, maybe while we wait for some people to hop in the stream, I might just edit some of these decks here. And already three people in the ch in the chat. Henry Lopez, AV, and Josh. Yo, welcome to the stream. Thanks for tuning in today. And yes, we are doing a Pulse Rotation stream and as Tell says, we are trying out some Pulse Rotation decks, and I'm pretty excited to see what's what. So, I mean, for starters, we are going to, we're going to wait, you know, for the stream, for some people to get in, and I think in the meantime, we, I'm just going to make, edit some decks here, um, and we're going to play a bunch of different decks, and I'm looking forward to it. So, we're going to quickly add in, probably want two switches in this deck, um, but yeah, thanks for stopping by. We're going to have some fun today playing in the new format. Had a pretty busy day today. The Pokemon Evolution Evolutionaries just went live on Twitch. There's a lot of people live streaming. I think Dark Energal and uh, Pablo Tablemon are also streaming right now too. Um, but this is like the best time I can stream. I want to tourney with Vika Ray in the new format. And what's up? Yo, nice. I, that's going to be an interesting deck to try out. And yo, yo man, how you doing today? I'm doing good, Stefan. Had a pretty good day today. Um, was pretty busy today. Yay, Pulsitation. Yeah, I'm looking forward to these decks. Um, and yo, Ron Grant, welcome to the stream. Alright, so we're just going to quickly edit this Vika Bulu deck. Don't really know what else it needs outside of what we already got. I don't know if we really need Marshadow in here, in all honesty. Um, probably won't need Palpad or Field Blower. I find that Field Blower right now is like... Honestly, you don't need Field Blower right at the moment in this new format. Because Garbo Talk's not a thing anymore. Floatstone's not a thing anymore. So, Field Blower, you don't really need as much. I'm so happy Parallel City is finally rotated. Yeah, AV, I'm actually... I'm glad that that card is gone, too. I hated that card probably just as much as anyone else. So, yeah, I'm also glad to see Parallel City leave the format. It's pretty good to see that card go. Um, speaking of stadiums, I don't really know what stadium to put in this deck. There's not that many I can think of off the top of my head. I don't know if I want to play three Nest Balls or not, though. Um, let's just try this list out. Okay, Vika Bulu... Vika Bulu. We don't have the name on PR anymore because it is finally, finally post rotation on the ladders. That's pretty good. So I'm looking forward to what gets big this season. I don't, honestly, it's the nice thing about this new format. We don't, and I just did not mean to copy my deck list, but okay. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see. Parallel can die. I hated that card. Yeah, Parallel. I mean, it's still going to be an expanded, still really good and expanded, um, but it is good to see that card leave finally. Uh, it is good to see that card go. Let me just quickly edit some of these decks here. Um, we're going to try out a bunch of things, though, so it's going to be pretty fun, not going to lie. I don't really know. I mean, every every deck here seems to be good. I Those are really all the decks that i built so far for the new format, and I'm just going to make more as time goes on, obviously. Um, so, yeah, let's uh, go get some games here. First off, we will go back to Standard. So it's going to be interesting to see how this works on the ladder. Um, let's play Decidueye Ninetales first, because that was the first thing I built. Um, it will, of course, record a game. So we'll try out Decidueye Ninetales. Let's see how we do with this deck. All right. Looks like, again, we don't really know what we're playing against all, all off the bat. That's the cool thing. The one uh, the one that reduced damage for... Yeah, yeah, I know what uh, Aether does. I don't know. Whatever. I mean, I don't think we need it in Vikabulu. Why is there still no full art for Snowmax, Serena, and Beware? Yeah, they don't have a full art for Palo Sand or Lil and Radicate either. Soon. I mean, not that any of those cards are really any of that playable, though, to be honest with you. All the, all three of those cards are kind of underwhelming. Um, Serena probably has the most potential, though, to be honest, just because of the um, the attack comboed with Nihiligo. Yo, bro, I didn't do super bad at Worlds. I made day two, but I mean not much. Oh, oh whoa, congratulations, Swag. What did you what did you play for Worlds? I think you, were, you said Buzzrock. Ooh, a Rodom deck. It's actually a really interesting matchup. Um, but yeah, what did you end up playing at World Swag? But yeah, World's over. Um, but we don't have to deal with N or Sycamore, Bridget, Floatstone, and Parallel City. They are all gone. And Garbotoxin, Max Elixir, Fighting Fury Belt, 
this was a huge rotation. It's crazy to see N lead the format. We, I mean, we've been we've been in an endless format before. Um, it's happened once, obviously, before uh, Fate's Clyde came out. N was actually not in the format for, I think, like a, a few months, and then it came back. And then we didn't, didn't have to use Sean and Burge's observations. But N has been around since 2011. It's been out for, for what, seven years now? It's insane. That card is a dinosaur. Yeah, I changed last minute. I played a super mean Glaceon Zork list, so that's nice. I'm, you know, it's kind of nice to see a Glaceon Zork deck make day two. Uh, what's your opinion on Zork post -tation? Still pretty good. Obviously, losing Bridget is pretty bad and puzzles, but Zork will still be really good, I'm sure. I'm sure Zork will still be one of the best decks, if not the best deck. Malamar has tons of potential now that Parallel's gone. Yeah, a lot of decks that suffer due to Parallel City get a lot better now. How many items did he, or tools did he get rid of? Just three. Okay. Kind of do you want to attach to Vulpix here? No Pokemon or Nest Balls, though, which is unfortunate. Hey, how have you been? I've been good, Richard. How have you been doing? Thanks for stopping by. I don't know if I want to attach to DC. I don't want to lose Vulpix and then go down to DC. I can't really do Lily, though, either. We're not drawing as many cards. I think I got to go Cynthia here. Hopefully get a Pokemon that we survive the turn. Yikes, we didn't get a Pokemon. <laughs> okay, that's pretty bad. I'm going to have to just pray we live. We'll see, though. We'll see if we end up surviving this turn. I beat every raid that I saw, and I beat Gardevoir and Malamar decks. Nice. Um, yeah, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of Gardevoir Zork. That was probably going to be one of the more like interesting Zork variants. Do you think Zork Garb will still be a thing without Garbotoxin? I, well, I'll probably try that out eventually, AV. I don't know. It's still got potential. Garbodor still covers the weakness for Zork, but that deck is more like straightforward attack with Zork. Just use Trash Lance in the late game. So, I mean, it might work. It might work. I don't know how heavy items are going to be played in this new format now that Max Elixirs and Floats and stuff are gone. Stuff like Field Blower, honestly, you don't really need Field Blower at the moment. Yeah, you get rid of Choice Bands and stuff, but yeah, I'm finding that running Field Blower doesn't really matter anymore. I think we're getting knocked out here. How much is this? Three, four, six. That is six items in the discard. He just needs to hit three more... I think I'm a goner, so we'll see if Vulpix survives the turn. This is going to be a hard matchup regardless. This thing can't one-shot my Decidueyes, I guess, which is one good thing. He didn't get the knockout. Nice. Okay, we actually top decked a Rowlet. Um, that's fine. We might as well just start building up Rowlet here. And Lele might honestly go for Lily, just because my hand is pretty good. I do like this hand for next turn, so yeah. We'll do Lily for three. Probably just put both on this guy. We'll do Lily for three. I do find Ultra Ball, so I actually can go for a... Uh, I can go for a Alolan Ninetales right now. That wouldn't be bad. Actually, I could have done that knockout this Heat Rotom. Well, I already attached the energy for turn. I think it won't hurt me to do that. I can still do... I, could, I guess I could still do um, Ice Path when we need it. Well, actually... Ooh, maybe I maybe I don't need to play a two a two one nine tail split. I don't know. I made a Zorkar Boater deck and it's good in the new uh, standard and oh hey I will. I don't know about a Zorkar Boater, but it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be interesting to see what gets big. Yo yo HPKT, welcome to the stream. I think Zorak Bayonet might be the better kind of Zoark uh, psychic variant. To be honest with you, Bayonet just seems more versatile than Garboder. Garboder might be okay. It might be okay. We'll see, though. We'll see. I, I don't know. Garboder's okay in, in Zoark. But without Garbotoxin, and even without, like, puzzles and stuff, that deck doesn't work as effectively, I think. It's, Garbodor is kind of just there as, like, a backup attacker, which is not bad. It's still a good attacker. It's, you know, it can do big damage. It only gives a one prize, opposed to Bayonet, which is weak to Dark, which means you could fall victim to an easy Zoark, so... There's lots of stuff. I actually am tempted to snipe this 120 damaging Rodom, because that's a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage he could do. So I might try and snipe this guy here, and then obviously, like, Feather Arrow snipe him. We are going to be in top deck mode, though. That's the only problem. Uh, what do you think about a Bayonet Sableye deck? I don't know, Franco. I don't know. Is it, like, Bayonet GX or the other Bayonet, the baby one? Have you seen the new unknown cards that are coming out? Yeah, AV. Those things look pretty interesting. It's going to be a bit of a stretch to get some of them done, but, I mean, Night March is coming back, technically, which is joys of fun, even though we don't have Battle Compressor, but Night March coming back is going to be interesting. Well, Bayonet is in it. Oh, and late game is where it's good. Oh, yeah. 
technically. Uh, we do get another Vulpix, might as well play him down. We can knock out the active, or we can snipe the biggest threat. Actually, shoot, Special Mo might actually be the, the biggest threat. I might actually try and KO this Rodom here. That attack is going to destroy me, so it might be better to snipe this guy. Maybe. And just hope, I mean, if we can keep surviving here, I might be okay. Hey guys, like the video. Yes, everyone, listen to Josh, like the video. If you guys enjoy the, vi the stream and everything, make sure to leave a like. And sub if you are not already subscribed to the channel. I want to try Zork Swamper with the Unknown that uh, needs 35 cards. That would be insane. I think it might be good in Expanded just because you can you can do a lot more, I think, in Expanded to get your hand size with cards like Roller Skates and stuff like that. But we'll see. I think, the, I think that hand one might be the better Unknown. Or like the best one out of all of them. Okay, he's, he's... I don't think he's still attacking me. I think we're still good. We'll have to see which one... See if the unknowns get good. I think eventually, I don't know. I don't not eventually, but I think someone will do something with those unknowns. I think they are like they're funny enough to work. Who knows? Um, okay, now they're attacking me. Uh, hopefully, they don't get an escape board and just go into this guy. This is going to be a problem. That special mo attack is actually going to be the death of me. So I got to be careful for that. I don't want to lose because I run out of energy. But these things are such low HP. Decidui alone could just put in work. So he's actually just going to hit me for eighty. How many choice bands has he gone through? Three? We did find another energy. Might hold on to that. We can do a knockout here on the special Mo Rodom. Looking for one of our supporters, though, so we can get out of this hand. Okay, that works. We got Lele. Um, yeah, we will do Lele. We might as well spread out the energy a little bit. Tempted to attach the active, in all honesty. I don't know. I think we'll be okay to just go Lele. If we ever get, like, Mo Rodom... We can always just, you know, switch out Guzma, Tate, and Liza. There's a lot more switching cards. Hey, Fury, great to see another stream. So hyped to try the new format. Yeah, same. This is my first time playing in the new format on PCGO. Um, well, I've, I've played it in Friends Battles, but you know what I mean. Okay, we do find a switch. Uh, we can Ultra Ball here. Probably get rid of... Actually, this hand is pretty good. I guess we'll get rid of the unit energy and just grab... I'm going to get a Dartrix... Try and get more Decidueyes in play. We can knock out the active. It's not really KO me, though. I can actually just let this guy sit here. And we are just going to snipe. Probably just hit this Rodom here. This thing's doing the most damage. Take out the Rodoms that are most important. That's half the deck. Yeah, it is. It's going to be crazy to try to get a 35-card hand. But, I mean, that, that deck can get shut down by Anner Judge real quick. So, I don't know how good it'll be. He does it heads on order pad. If he plays three escape boards, which he does, that's not good. We'll see if he knocks out my Nine Tails here. If he takes out my Nine Tails, I might be in trouble. He might have to attack me with this guy, which will just Feather Arrow knock it out. So we'll be able to at least do something to it this turn. So I'm hoping he doesn't KO me. That's a KO. That's great. Hustle Belt. Rip. Should a nice path when I got the chance. Then I wouldn't get KO'd. Hopefully we can actually... Draw something. Yo, dude, what's up? Yo, Anthony, welcome to stream. Man, you finally caught a stream. You finally caught one. You finally got a stream. Okay, so he's going to excavate. Um, He's got to be out of choice band, so that's kind of my best bet. Hopefully he doesn't get any Mo Rodoms in the back. We can knock this guy out with Feather Arrow. It just depends on what we bring up, though. If we hit another DC, that would be good. I don't know if I want to bring out Decidueye, though, or do I want to bring out Vulpix? I guess Vulpix is the best guy to bring out. I wish I had another copycat right about now, though. That would be nice. That would be like 20... Ooh, what a top deck. We top deck Decidueye. So yeah, we'll take out his active. I don't know if I have a DC prize, but if I do, now would be a good time to get it so I can start attacking again. We got another Tate and Liza, and that's fine. Let's see what he brings up. Let's bring out Heat Rotom. Okay. We'll probably... He's not going to attack me with Wash Rotom. We'll hit this Rotom. He might attack me with that. I don't know. I know where to really put the energy. Or the damage story. We'll do Cynthia here and hope we can hit maybe like a DC or like a Ninetales DCE. We do, but we get a Lola Ninetales. But we can actually do this. Well, actually, do I really do I really want to attack with Decidueye? I actually don't know if that's a good idea or not. I think it's fine. I think it's fine to do this. I wish I hit the active, but I didn't know I was going to hit that. I mean, I could draw an extra card. I don't think that matters. I think we'll just Razor Leaf him for the knockout. I just don't want to get, like, KO'd. I don't know. 
I think I'll be fine. Is the ladder rotated now? Uh, yeah, we got a new ladder, and we also... The new ladder is actually really good. Um, soft lickies, I, I think that's what you call it. Um, and also, Gardevoir GX is the ladder. But yeah, it's now standard format in on the PDCGO ladder. It's, did I just say that? No, it's Sun and Moon on. I, sorry, guys. I've, I've just had an app, like, not even an hour ago. What do you think are the best decks for the new standard? I don't know. Honestly, probably Zoark variants. Buzzle's still going to be pretty good. Um, oh, I got to go. Maybe I'll be back after my trumpet lesson. All right, good. All good, Josh. All good. Thanks for stopping by while well, you did. Yeah, dude, what's up, my homie? Yo, Mini, welcome to the stream. And how you doing today, dude? How are you doing? Um, yeah, this is Mini, guys. And I, if you watched my video today and yesterday, I played against him. Shout out to him. Shout out to my boy, Mini English. All right, so I doubt he's going to knock me out this turn. He's hitting for a lot, but it's not a KO. If I can get a DC top deck, I can actually go into this Decidueye, maybe, or go into Ninetales. I prefer to go into Ninetales here, but we'll see. I mean, I think we'll be okay. He's doing a lot of damage, though. How many Guzmas has he played? Yeah, he hasn't played a single one yet. We do get a Vulcaner top deck. Unfortunately, though, it's not really what I need right now. So, once again, we're going to have to spread out the damage a little bit. We might have to say goodbye to one of our Decidueyes here. Which kind of sucks. Maybe at best it's Sableye, actually. So that's another thing we could snipe. Okay, well, we might have to say goodbye to Decidueye. I could go Tate and Liza, go into Vulpix. That makes no sense, though. I'm... Volkner can get me a Switch. I don't think there's any items I can get at this point that can help me. I think I just go for the Tate and Liza here. I just hope I get something. Tired from work. It's time to get on this ladder and get those free Guardies. Yeah, the Guardies are nice. They are nice. Okay, we aren't actually able to find what we were looking for. We actually did get an okay hand, though. I'm actually going to just load up Decidueye here with energy for next turn. We'll get rid of Rare Candy and Water Energy. Can go. We'll grab a Lola Ninetales GX. I do have Flying Flip. That might actually be good here in this situation, too. Yeah, we'll instruct to see what we can do here. What recording app are you using? I use OBS. Yeah, same here, Karusu. I use OBS also. I am also using OBS right about now. It's the best uh, recording, it's best screen recorder to use, in my opinion. It's free and it's easy to use. I want to try out Baby Guz Bar uh, Garb Shrine, a punishment deck. Yeah, I got my video done on it yet um, the other day, so I mean, if you want to do that, if you want to try my build out, I the Macargo engine I told you guys is good. I saw a post on the Pokemon TCG subreddit. I'm gonna try Metagross GX, Dustman across my GX with Champions Festival, massive walls with no parallel city. That's true. Yeah, like, these Stage 1 decks are... Stage, oh man, I'm sorry, I, I can't talk today. These Stage 2 decks, like, um... It's actually going to Frost crush me. Cru crush me. Interesting play. Our hand is not the greatest, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, these Stage 2 decks that need multiple Pokemon to play don't have to worry about Parallel anymore. I think worst case scenario, we have to go for Hollow Hunt. I wish that Cephala Keys was a Guzma Full Art or... Ace Roller, hopefully they do eventually. Yeah, they'll probably do a Guzma ladder. It's Guzma's one of like the most kind of like sought after cards, I think. For full art supporters in this new set, in a new format. Um, okay, there's really nothing I need here, is there? I mean, I guess I can I was hoping for an Ultra Ball in the deck. I probably should check, but I could Ultra Ball here and then go instruct, but I can't do that. It's really not much to grab. I could go into Ninetales and then try and bounce back with an Ice Path. I don't hate that, but I kind of want to go for Hollow Hunt this turn. I think I'll just get Switch for next turn. That seems fine. Whatever. Uh, we'll Feather Arrow. Probably hit the Sableye. I don't want to put damage on this. I don't want to rock into that Hustle Belt play. That was nasty. We'll do Hollow Hunt. We'll probably get back. I might actually get back Rip Candy to Sidueye. Right? 20, 40... No, we're not going to win next turn if I do that. Um, nah, okay. Well, we don't need we don't need that. We'll get back two DCEs, that's for sure. And... Do I want... i probably going to need a Cynthia, right? Yeah, because we do have the Switch, so yeah, we'll just grab these three guys. Yeah, what GX? Yeah, Gardevoir's on the ladder. You really should look into Streamlabs OBS. It's way better than regular OBS. In fact, you would love it. Is it? Yeah, Streamlabs is where you can like have stuff be on your stream, I think for, like, um, uh, donations and stuff, and, like, have chat be on screen. That would be something I'd be interested in. I don't know if I would want chat on my screen, though. I don't know about that. What about uh, stalling behind Shuckle while building guardies on the bench and punish your opponent for having too much energies? That could work. 
Agarwerk. We'll have to see what happens. I am excited for Dragon Majesty, though, which comes out in, like, a week or two. Dragon Majesty is going to be looking pretty good. That set looks good. We'll see, though, if Dragon Majesty lives up to the hype. I don't know if we're getting Altaria GX in that set, either, because we didn't get it in this set. Oh, my goodness. I just pulled a Rainbow Rare Rayquaza. Jeez, Will. Nice. Nice. I've yet to pull any more rays in the full art I got. Guardy seems worth the grind. No, it is. Gardevoir is definitely a good card. It's a good pulse rotation deck. Um, Gardevoir is always going to be a solid card. It's I think it's worth it. There is a lot of good metal decks, though, in this new format. That is my, that's the only problem with having to use Gardevoir, but Gardevoir is still pretty powerful, I'd say. I think it's still a good deck to play. Actually, I don't even think my opponent is going to be able to retreat. He's probably out of everything he can get. this. So this thing's going to be trapped in the active, which is good. And in the meantime, I can just chip away. He's doing not that much damage to me here, either. Yeah, 50 damage. I'm not even... I'm barely getting scratched. There's really no way my opponent's gonna get down a, uh... Another... Another, like, Heat Rodom. Or even Mo Rodom, for that matter. So, we should be good. That scared me. It's gonna give me a heart attack. Um... We got Guzma, which basically means we have game. Um... Okay, we'll hit the Mo Rodom, I guess. Doesn't matter where we put this damage. We should have game next turn. We'll just Ice Blade knock out this Rodom. Don't have to worry about special mo anymore. We should be okay. We'll just knock out that guy. I only have one Rayquaza GX right now. It'll be a while. Yeah, same. I only have one too. And I they're so expensive, and uh, I don't feel like burning all of my packs to get them. It's just it's not worth it. I do want to play Rayquaza. It's just it's not worth trading so many packs with those cards. I don't have that many packs left either. I'm what? running a little. I had to mute the mic. I might have to mute, mute the mic a couple times, guys, tonight. Don't worry about that. I am at a friend's house, so. But, yeah. Thanks for everyone for stopping by in the stream. 36 viewers going strong. I gotta thank you guys for stopping by tonight. Alright, so. Again, I, I don't know if my opponent can stop me. He'd have to drop, like, a Pokemon that can one-shot to Sidewai, and I don't think there is anything at this point that can do that. Yeah, he's just going to settle for Frost Crush, and that is indeed game over. Because we'll just Ice Blade Sableye. All right, there we go. We beat him. Not bad. Not a bad match. And that will conclude that part of the video for when I do a Decidue by Nine Tails video. I like doing these stream games because it, it means I just don't have to record as long, which saves me time. Which means I can get more time to record more videos, um, which is really nice. It's nice to be able to be able... Just upload a stream game in one of my videos, so I don't have to take as much time. But that was a good match. Decidueye Nine Tails looking okay in this new format. What do you guys think about Decidueye Nine Tails? Before we move on to the next deck, what do you guys think of Decidueye Nine Tails in this new format? That was a decent match. Um, actually, I kind of want to build Metagross Steven. In all honesty, I kind of want to build Metagross Steven. Let's do that. We'll build some decks here. If you guys have any other decks you want to see me build, I'm down to do that. I do need to get more Verse Hollows, though, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Um, but I am down to build more, like, if you guys want to see any other decks, I am down to build them. So, we'll add three Metagross GX. Um, it's either I, I think a split 3-3 three is actually perfectly fine. Um, we'll grab, we'll add some Leleys. I think Steven's Decision is going to be a pretty interesting supporter. I don't know how many people are going to be playing cards like Ilma and, um... You know, cards like Ilma and what's-his-face. I can't remember the name. Ilma and Judge. And Peking Red card, or like Marshadow. So who knows? Everyone hit that like button. 36 viewers and only 11 likes. We can do better than that, guys. Yes, everyone, leave a like on the video if you are enjoying the stream tonight. And thanks, Minnie. Um, surprise uh, rotation happen day usually happens on September 1st. Pope PDCG always does stuff like a few days early, especially with new sets. The codes always go live the day before the set comes out. Sometimes if I don't get my codes by then, that makes me a little annoyed. It's like, bro, and then I have to, I go out of my way to get more, more of the stuff, but it's kind of always the way it's been. Um, this deck seems fine. I kind of want to add, like, another metal type attacker, though. Would Dust Main Necrozma be okay? Like, Dust Shot wouldn't be terrible, I guess. That's fine. We don't really need that many more Pokemon, either. That'll be okay. I could mix up the energy if I want to and add like a Psychic Attacker, like Mimikyu or Necrozma GX, but it's fine. Uh, we'll play 9 Metals. Yeah, 9 Metals seems good. 
And we'll go Stevens. I think four Stevens decisions is good, but I only have three. I think we can get away with three. I think three's not that bad. Uh, we can add four rare candies. Do I want to add Volkner? It's either Volkner or Order Pad, because I think that would be okay in this deck. Build a hard hitting Tapalili GX deck with Kiawe in there. Yeah, I could salt it. I don't know how that would I don't know if that'd be good though. I do have a ho post station build that I want to try out with Marowak and Kiawe. For every five likes, I'll give a free Guardians Rising code out in the chat. Oh, it's at 15 likes, so I'm starting there. Oh, wow, well, there you go, guys. For every five likes, my boy Mini. Thank you, Mini, by the way. It means a lot. I do appreciate it. I'm sure everyone else in the chat does. Um, there you go. I think Empoleon will be good now. Can you possibly do a deck review on it? Yeah, I can definitely visit Empoleon down the road for sure. There's a lot of post station decks to look at, so it's going to be a pretty busy time. But, yeah. We'll add Three Guzmas, two Lilies, uh, maybe three Lilies, but I don't know. We'll, we'll add two Max Potions. Uh, we'll just go two Nest Balls. Nest Ball is so much better than Fan Club, in my opinion. I thought I thought Turn 1 Fan Club was going to kind of be like the new thing, but honestly, it's not that great. It's not as good as I thought it would be. Turn 1 Fan Club is not as good as people make it out to be. I mean, it's not a terrible thing to do, but it's not great. Um, I might just add a frying pan to the deck. I don't know if we really need three choice pans. Eh, actually, yeah, I think it's fine. I don't think we need frying pan, to be honest. I was going to add a frying pan. Whatever, we don't really need it, I don't think. Go for Ultra Balls. We'll add Cynthia. That should be good for the list. We need. We have one slot open. I don't really know what to add. Maybe another supporter. Hollow would be okay if I ever do turn one algorithm. But I usually want to go baby metagos first. Darkrai GX seems decent. Yeah, Darkrai is probably decent too, James, to be honest. Darkrai GX does have a bit of an acceleration engine, I guess, with its ability. It's either I had caught, I could have Countercatcher in case we fall behind in prizes, but I don't think that's needed. Um, I guess we get pull. I'll throw the moon's not needed though. What do I add? What to add? I guess it's like, I guess fourth Guzma is fine. Or a judge. No, let's just add a judge. Screw it. Meta Gross Steven. Steven. Oh, Steven, good fellow. I don't think I have that Meta Gross coin, though. Rip. I wish I did. But yeah, we'll, we'll play this Meta Gross deck next here for you guys. See how it plays for us. I'm excited for Meta Gross. Meta Gross. This Meta Gross deck, man, has a lot of potential, especially in this new format. That's the problem with Gardevoir on the ladder. There's so many good metal types. I prefer Nest Ball to save Lele for supporter drawing. Yeah, exactly. Nest Ball, though, it's insanely expensive. The Nest, I remember Nest Ball was like one or two packs. Now, Nest Ball is like six to seven to eight Guardians Rising. That It went up in price so fast. It's insane how expensive Nest Ball got. Nest Ball is basically up there with like Field Blower and Rescue Stretcher now for being so, one of the most expensive secret item cards. It's insane. But I think Nest Ball is a really good card in this new format. So I'm starting not to like Ilma. Maybe Judge is better. Yeah, Ilma's risky. If you if you get heads on your opponent, you just basically game a free Cynthia. I think Judge is probably the better replacement. Judge worked in the uh, HGSS on format, which is technically like the same thing as what we're in right now. It's they're basically the same formats in my opinion. Because we got Cynthia, which is Professor Oak's new theory. We have Judge. We have Copycat. Um, the format has slowed down a bit. So yeah, I think this is literally just HGSS and on. 2.0. Wiki is good. Oh, I, f I totally forgot about that card. There's so many like random draw sport cards in standard right now, like Underground Expedition or Explorer, whatever it's called. There's also what's what's his name? Uh, I forget his name. I forgot the name of the card. I just had it too before I said that. Ooh, Vulpix Start, not bad. And Turn One, Turn One Lily. I think Turn One Lily is going to be the ideal Turn One Bridget of this new format because just drawing up eight cards is insane right now. Are you doing viewer battles or only ladder matches? Probably just ladder matches, Nate Anthony. I barely even played the new ladder at all, so it's good to get some wins on that. Um, I'll do a viewer battle stream at some point. This matchup is actually a little bad because alternate Krosma one-shots my Metagrosses at some point. We do have the Delmize, though, with choice bands. That's all I really have. But I think alternate Krosma would be a hard matchup. I think Malamar might be honestly one of the best decks in the format. Don't sleep on Wiki or Underground Expedition. Yeah. Oh, I remember the card name now. Apricorn Maker. That's his name. A lot of people like that card because you can Apricorn Maker for a double nest ball or like Ultra Ball nest ball. That card's okay. I think one of the most underrated supporters right now is Olivia. 
in Zorb GX, Olivia is really powerful. Olivia is honestly one of my favorite um, underrated kind of supporters right now. Who knows? Maybe I'll do like a top five underrated supporter video. Does he get any energy in the discard? Doesn't? Okay. One of those B-strings being in there is really good to see. But yeah, I think Olivia is going to be another pretty good supporter card. It's good for stuff like Zoark. It's good for Zoark. That's basically about it, though. Like, Olivia only gets you GXs. It's probably only good as, like, a one-up in Zoark. Oh, yeah. All right, so I had to mute the mic for a quick sec there. Um, okay, you know what? That that actually just gave us an even better hand because we, now we have a Lily for a bigger hand. I was going to say Olivia 2 uh, since I have it in Bayonet Zoark. Just need to test it to see how it goes. Yeah, I think Olivia is really good with Zoark. I don't know what else is really good with. It's not really good with that much else, but really just Zoark, I think. I kind of wish I got Dust Mane Necrozma. I probably would have went for a Dust Shot, tried to soften up Ultra Necrozma there. It's fine, though. We don't have rare candy, that's a massive rip. I could actually just get Lele for Volkner. I could go Volkner, Meteor Mash. What are the odds I even get KO'd next turn too? That's the question. Is it okay to play it slower or go all in? I think I think it's fine to play it slower. I think I think we're okay to play it slower for now. Oh my Nick just caught, Nick just said in my chat. Oh my Nick, my man. My man Nick. <laughs> so let me look that possible. <laughs> uh, let me guess, I'm just gonna say no, my that's my friend Nick, guys. <sighs> he knew I was gonna say that too, that's what cheated me. He always he always says that because he he watches my streams, he'll like tune in to bug me, and he'll always be like, Let me guess, he said, Don't worry about that, it's just my friend Nick. Yeah, I think Olivia will be good with um, with Zoark Lycanroc. I think Zoark Lycanroc, I think, will still be pretty good. Um, okay, doesn't get the knockout. I think I am going to go Dustmane here. I think, yes, indeed, that is the play. We don't have to burn the switch, which is beautiful. If I don't hit energy here, I'm going to be a little upset. Ooh, we even hit a rare candy. Okay, we don't have the greatest of hands. I guess next turn we'll be able to Lele for, uh, what's his face? We can grab, uh, Stevens. So, yeah, we'll just snipe the Necrozma. Now we can just get killed by Metagross GX, which is what we wanted. This, I guess why Dustmane is good. We could against Zork too. If they have a Zork in play, you can snipe that. You can snipe that. Alright, but let's see if my opponent gets a knockout. I am a little scared he'll get a Guzma here and then knock out my Metagross here on the bench. I don't want that to happen, but if he does, so be it. He probably does play four Guzmas, it makes sense, because you need that whole switch routine. And he is doing Guzma. But he's actually going to take out my Matang here. Uh, which, okay, he is taking a knockout. I was going to say, is he even knocking me out? No, but he is. He indeed is. Alright, so. He's gonna knock out my Matang. That's a rip. Did I even add Rest Stretcher to this deck? I honestly can't remember if I had Rest Stretcher. I added the Rescue Stretcher in the deck. Okay, so. We'll have to just attack with Meteor Mash for now. We can do Steven's Resolve, though, which is pretty good. That, ugh, that's such an ugly top deck. We have to get rid of two pretty useful cards. But we can grab Tapu Lele. We can play Steven's Resolve. I don't know what I really am looking for for the time being. Maybe I'll go... Well, we won't... I don't know if we'll get knocked out. Oh, well, no, he has Ultra of the Moon. Never mind. Well, actually, he only has one Malamar. We're not getting knocked out next turn. What am I saying? We'll grab Rare Candy Metagross. We'll grab... Yeah, Rare... Mm, do I want GX Metagross? Yeah, I think I do. We'll grab GX Metagross, Rare Candy, and we'll grab a second Steven's Resolve. Might I could have maybe grabbed Lily instead, but whatever. 
Yeah, we'll go here. Rare Candy, the Bench Metagross. Seems fine by me. Then we'll have Steven's Resolve for next turn. Um, I could have technically kept that Rare Candy then if I was going to do that play. Whatever. I didn't think ahead there. It's fine, though. He'll be able to retreat, and we won't be able to maximize the knockout on this guy. That's fine. He's heavily damaged. Not even Dustman can one-shot him, though, which is kind of annoying. It is what it is, though. Again, only having one Malamar in play is really nice. Don't know how he only has one in play, though, but whatever. It is what it is. He might have a Guzma. He might be able to snipe my Vulpix here. We'll have to see. You can hit up to 180. Um. No, okay, so he's not going to knock me out. I mean, I don't think he should attack me, but be my guess. Well, I guess he could set up a Moon's Eclipse, which is very annoying. Moon's Eclipse is always a fun attack to see. I don't think he can take a knockout, though. There's no way to accelerate more energies on the Necrozma. So he should be safe. Looks like he's going to get another Inke. Another Inke. We'll have to see. Yep, there it is. My boy Inke. Okay, so he's actually going to not attack me with that. Interesting. He's not knocking me out, so I can Stevens for a max potion here, which is useful because then I can't get knocked out by Moon's Eclipse. So I do like that. Um, so yeah, we'll grab max potion. Thankfully, I have my other one in the deck. We will grab... So we knock him out. Um, okay, we do have Stretcher. Yeah, we're going to grab Stretcher. No, we'll grab Beldum actually instead. I'm probably going to need Guzma for next turn to get around Moon's Eclipse. So, we'll grab Guzma. But what do I, what would I go into? I guess Dustmane and Krozma? I guess that's what I would go into? We just need a setup for next turn. We should be okay. Thankfully, Metagross GX is in place, so I'm kind of glad I did this. So I don't have to grab an energy off that Steven's Resolve, and we can just build up our active here. So that seems fine by me. And I walk it like I talk it, and I knock out this Ultra Necrozma in the meanwhile. We should be able to get something on the prizes, so hopefully that compensates for that. Yeah, we got Cynthia. Beautiful. We got M's in the bank like yes indeed. Don't know why I'm randomly saying rap lyrics. Almost there. I see 19. Yeah, guys. Remember, if you like the stream, um, every five likes, my boy Mini English is giving out a Guardians Rising code. And thank you for that again, once again. My screen says 20. Huh. Interesting. I don't know what's wrong with the uh, thing. We're almost at 50 viewers, though, guys. Again, I gotta thank you guys for all tuning in tonight. And even if my friend Nick is still in here, which expect to see a text in two minutes that says, hold this. Um, yeah. So, yeah, we're gonna get Moons Eclipsed. He's not gonna knock me out, though. That resistance to Psychic is very good, and that's why that Max Potion play was good. He might have a Guzma, so he could knock out Tapu Lele, which could happen. What are you, a cat? No, he hasn't texted me. Let me guess, Yara bombing. Oh, and there you go, guys. A code for Guardians Rising is in the chat. So there you go. Okay, this first, please say who got it. Yeah, if, if you redeem that code, and also say what you got in the pack. If you, well, you don't have to open the pack. We're not forcing you to. If I got the pack, I would not open it either because, you know, I like saving up my packs to trade them off for stuff I need. But if you do plan to open up a Guardians Rising pack, um, well, let us know what you got because I would be interested myself. I think worst case scenario here, he's able to get a beast string with his alternate Krozma. There isn't one. Hmm. I don't, that's in, I don't know. There's a code there, Salted. Oh, and he got the beast string. No, I was hoping that wouldn't happen. Okay, so now we might be in some trouble. This man got a beast string. This man got a beast string. And he knocked me out with Photon Geyser. Okay, that's actually really bad. This man got a really good hand off that. That's really annoying. Is he still going to Moons Eclipse me, though? He is. Oh, I'm so sorry. You're 10 short. Okay, well, that's good. Um, now, here's where... We don't have any other Metal Energies in the discard. No, we do. Okay, that's good. So, I can Guzma out, Vulpix. I can bring out the alternate Krozma. And I guess I can Meteor Mash it. Meteor Mash will get reset. So it might be better to bring out Dustmane Necrozma, actually. 
Yeah, I think it's better to bring out Dust Main because Meteor Mash just gets reset. It's really no point. I could I could do uh, Geotech here also, maybe build up Rusty Claws. I would need to find. Okay, we hit him for 60, 130, 190. So if I find a Choice Band and an Energy next turn, I could KO him. I haven't played a single Choice Band yet. So I guess we'll do that. I was going to save it just in case he Guzmado Metagross and attacked it. But I think this is fine. We can still threaten him. I guess we'll get knocked out. Who cares? Whatever. Maybe he, if he doesn't do that play. Is there a new reward online? Um, why? If you're talking about like, the daily rewards, that resets at 8 o'clock. Um, outside of that, yeah, there's obviously the new Ladder Salted, which has Gardevoir GX and Cephalites on it. My opponent will play a Palpad here. Okay, so he gets back the Guzma, and it looks like a Cynthia. I couldn't really see that. Okay, he's going to do Lily for 4, which is fine. That's not a Guzma, which is what I was worried about. And he can't really do Dark Flash, because he's not one-shotting me. And before he plays, like, one Fighting Fury Belt that got rotated out, Kappa Ross. He's going to Field Blower my Skateboard away. Rip. I don't know, maybe Field Blower is good for now. I think it'll get a lot better once the new stadiums come out. Especially with the new Lightning one. Apparently there's a new Dark one that's going to be really good according to PDC Radio. There's going to be a lot of stuff. I think I think next next set or whatever is going to be when you want to play Field Blower. But for now, I don't even need Field Blower. Bye, have to get to that. All good, Salted. Thanks for stopping by if you are leaving. So yeah, he's going to knock out my active, which is fine. I can try and KO him with Metagross this turn. If we don't hit a metal energy here or like another rare candy metagross, that would be very so that'd be very bad. Should be okay. Alright, come on. Don't whiff a metal energy. It's like the one turn I don't want to whiff it. Nice, we had a switch too, so that's also good. So yeah, we can actually knock him out. And my opponent still has to take four prizes. How is he gonna do that? I don't think he can. He would need to find a choice band for his ult for his Dawn Wings to two shot or three yeah, two shot me. For now he's three shotting me. Though I have played two of my max potions. I think this deck needs three. I don't know why I played two. No, honestly. I think it's, it's kind of deep. Is this a new Metagross Stevens Resolve deck? Yes, it is, Kimberly. We are playing a post-rotation build of it. And so far, it's doing okay here against Malamar. This Dustman and Krasma proves to be one of the MVPs of the deck. So I don't regret putting that in the deck at all. It's going to build a Mimikyu. This guy had to put a Beast Energy on his Mimikyu. That's when you know you're in trouble. When you had to put a Beast Energy on a Mimikyu. Rip the dream for my opponent. I might build an alternate Crossmas uh, Malamar deck. I really wish I could trade off my alternate Crossmas for full arts. Sadly, though, I'm they're actually kind of they're getting lent to me, but I've been borrowing them since Forbidden Light first came out from a good friend of mine on this game. Um, but I haven't seen them online in ages, and I when I when, last time I saw them online, I did ask him. He never even got back to me, so I don't want to just trade them off though, because they're technically his, even though they're they the price has dropped significantly since when he gave them to me. Yo, I'm at work. Wish I could watch more. Have a good one, bro. Yo, thanks, DJ Believe. Thanks for stopping by. It's all good, dude. It's all good. All good, my bro. So he's gonna get a alternate Krosma. He's played a lot of his resources, though. He did get back a few cards, though, with that Palp Pad, so we do have to watch out for him setting up Guzma KOs. We should be safe this turn. The fact that he played Beast Energy means we're not gonna get threatened by alternate Krosma, which is a good thing. We just need to take... We just need to take a prize and we win, and that shouldn't be too hard. If we find one of our last Guzmas in a choice band, we're going to finish off this Dawn Wings. And he's going for the uh, copycat, which is fine. If I can top deck a choice band, I win the match, so hopefully we top deck it. Alright, choice band, come on. Nope, we got a nest ball, so never mind, rip the dream. We don't have any Beldums left. I think the best play here is to go Meteor Mash. We'll still get knocked out, ah. Oh. Okay, actually, we'll do this. We'll nest ball for Delmize, and then we'll just Meteor Mash him. I don't know. Switch is a really good card right now. Uh, what to do, what to do, what to do. Do I want to do Kane Liza, or do I want to do Cynthia? I think I go Cynthia. We really want to hit a Guzma here for next turn. Okay, we got Choice Band. No Guzma, though. Fatal Rip. We'll attach here. We do have Stretcher. Do we want to get those guys back? I don't hate that. But at the same time, I don't really want to mix up the deck. We have Choice Band. All we need to do is just draw Guzma and we have game, so we'll sit on the hand. Thankfully, Delmai's coming in clutch here to KO this Mimikyu. And there's another Taint Lies. I think I had a Guzma prize. I don't know, though. I'm going to pop in and out. Shiny Hunting, a Munchlax right now. Uh, send me some Luck Pokey Fam. There you guys go. 
Yeah, good luck, Michael. I haven't played I haven't played the video game in so long. Newsflash, every five likes, I'll give a free Guardians Rising code out. Started at 20 likes, so I'm starting there. There you go. So yeah, guys, again, if you like the stream, um, every five likes, my boy Mini English here is giving out a Guardians Rising pack. Gyarados will be broke when Ditto, Prism, and Buzzwell can survive rotation by fixing where you lose max at certain strong. I think Buzzwell is still okay. Ooh, we might actually lose my Metagross, but that's fine. He still has to take two prizes, and we should be hopefully be okay to win the game at that point. We just need one prize, so it's kind of all down if we can find our Guzma or not. It's kind of all down if we find Guzma. Alright, once again, guys, had to mute the mic real quick. I like this deck. It looks fairly budget-friendly, too, without all the full arts. Yeah, this deck is pretty budget. You can honestly just build a deck around just Metagross and have, like, one Metagross or two Metagross GXs. It's not that bad. Um, but I think this deck has potential. Um, I don't know. We might lose this match. We are going to get knocked out here, which is bad. Um, yeah, there is. Right here, right? This? What this? Oh no, kaboom. I'm actually opening Dark Flash with me, and he is, so we should win the game if we don't find our last medal. This is gonna trigger me. Uh, yeah, but we should win the game here. I guess my, yeah, I guess my opponent didn't have any way to knock me out otherwise. Okay, we just need to get one energy and we win. Just need one energy. And we got game. So, what would the best way to go about this is? I think Tate and Liza. Tate and Liza it is. Oh, I can't look. Alright, nice, we got him. That was pretty darn close. Pretty darn close. Yeah, that was good. Okay, phew. That was close. How many Marigos Jex do you run in this deck? Three. I play a split three three, but I think I'm gonna cut one of the baby metagos and throw in a third max potion. Don't know why I play two, but that was a pretty good game. That was a pretty good game. Nice, nice, nice. So that could be for a post rotation metagos video. But yeah, that was a really nice match we got with our metagos deck. Metagos stream game. Okay, that was awesome. All right, nice. Um, nice win, boys. Yeah, we got that dub, Nick. Hey, Nick. Also, hold this. Let me answer your game. All right. Now, what do we want to play? I don't want to play the new Golly Garb. I'm still testing this Macargo engine, but I might play Golisopod Garb Odor here. I don't want to go too meta, though. I don't want to play two meta decks. Uh, we can play Vikabulu. I think I might actually test out this Turbo ho deck that I built. I guess. Why not? Let's go Turbo ho -O. We'll go Turbo ho -O today. We'll see how this works. I am looking forward to that new Blaze again, though. To see. So, ooh, we're up against a dark with metal deck. I don't know what we're really playing against. But if it is a metal type, we do want to see that, obviously. Go for Vikabulu. Yeah, I think after this victor, I'll try out Vikabulu. And, okay, we have turn one Kiawe, which is good. Don't know if I want to put Dawnwings down, though, but I don't want to start with ho and then out of nowhere have my opponent just tap Lele me. So, I think that's what I'm going to have to do. New format or the post-rotation. Yeah, Metro, I am in I'm be, Yeah, I'm in the new format right now. The rotation is going to be interesting. Yeah, indeed it is. It's going to be interesting to see what gets big. I mean, if I do Kiawe here, I don't really have a card for next turn. Oh, is he playing a Zoar Guard Motor deck? Okay, interesting. I don't know if I want to do Alolan Marowak. I want to do Kiawe. Like, I can Lele and then try and get Cubone and then go, go the Alolan Marowak route to build up ho -Oh. I could just drop a Kiawe right now. And then next turn, Retreat Dawnwings thanks to a Skateboard and Fire Energy in my hand. I'm going to go for it. It is kind of risky to do this. But I get the early aggression. That is all good by me. But I would obviously like to attack a uh, Zoru. I might even just do Sacred Fire instead of... Phoenix burn next turn. I don't really know if it matters to take out this rubbish. I mean, I do need to take out the trash, but not like that. Yeah, 
What is the new format? Sun and Moon on. Yep, Breakthrough, XY, all those sets gone, End gone, Sycamore's gone, Parallel's gone, Floatstone's gone, Bridget's gone, Artillery's gone, Maxless is gone, Finding Fairy Belt is gone. All them are gone. We did lose some pretty interesting cards that were rising to popularity recently, like e Evil Tall Break, and Xerneas Break was still pretty decent, but all the, all the breaks are gone, too. And Sunny Moon on format's interesting, because the only thing we really have right now is Cynthia's and Judge, so the draw support is really interesting. I don't, I see early stages, so we don't really know what the best, you know, draw support cards to mix together are, like Tate and Lies is whatever. And, alright, we drew Ultra Ball, which is perfect. We'll have to lose one of my Marowak boys, but we can hopefully get our second Lele. I could also just grab a Ranguru. Doesn't matter. I do need to play all these cards from my hand, that's why I didn't get rid of a Skateboard, because I still need to play it. I might honestly not even play it. I could save this hand for I could just save what I got in my hand. This feels weird though, having a naked hand with no Sycamore to play. I think, no, the best card to play when you have a naked hand is Lily. I was the most saddest about Floatstone going by. Man, Float's a weird card to see um, go. But, you know, Switch is here, and we have relied on Switch before. Okay, shoot. We weren't able to find a, uh, we weren't able to get what we were looking for, but I'm actually going to pass a turn. Assuming Hobo doesn't get attacked next turn, I can... Drop another Lele for Guzma, and I can start attacking Zoark GX. It will be the new format from 2018 to fall of 2019. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be interested to see what is going to rotate out. Obviously, Sun and Moon Base will go. Guardians Rising will go. But Lele will stay, because we are getting the, Tim, the new promo Lele, which I'm pretty sure counts as something after Celestial Storm. It probably is going to be Burning Shadows and on, or all, maybe Crimson Invasion and on, because... Well, what came out first, Crimson Invasion or Shiny Legends? Shiny Legends is on, maybe. They probably want to keep Ultra Beasts for this for one more season after that. We do get a Guzman and Nest Ball, so we don't have to grab another Lele, which is really good. It does get Zoark. This means we are be able to hopefully KO it, as long as no shenanigans happen. I think the next format is Ultra Prism on. Yeah, that, yeah it's either Ultra Prism. No, we got to remember, Crimson Invasion came out first. They won't rotate out every Ultra Beast set, I think, all at once. So I think what they'll do, it'll be Shiny Legends and on. Yeah, Shiny Legends, yeah. It'll be probably be Shiny Legends and on, even though it is a, a like a promo set or whatever. Yeah, it'll most likely be that, though. Which will be interesting to see how that format plays out. We actually got rid of an Escape Rope. I'm kind of glad I didn't play that. Gets another Zoark. He could hit a Switch here. No? Okay, good. Good, good, good. We do top deck enough, another energy, so we'll nest ball here for Cubone. We'll Guzma up Zoark GX. I'm actually going to save the energy in my hand. I could attach a Turnator. The reason I'm doing this, though, is because next turn I could do a KO on this Zoark. So I'm assuming he's going to knock me out with that. He could fly and flip me if he wants, hit me for weakness. It's up to him. He could do that and then full field choice ban knock me out Zoark. Crimson Invasion was the last set of last year. Yeah, so that'll probably stay. I think I think Crimson Invasion is safe. Can someone trade me a Scissor GX? If anyone's got a Scissor GX, hit my boy Aqua up. I can't play. I'm grounded, sadly. It's all good, man. I know how you feel. Because Ultra Prism was the first set with Prism Stars. Yeah, but I think they want to keep the Ultra Beast engine around for like a third season, so we'll probably see the Ultra Beast stay. Who knows, though? If I could top like a fourth Guzma here, or one of my other Guzmas, well, I do play four. That's what I meant to say. We can knock out the Zoark. We take out all Zoarks. We're Gucci. We are Gucci. So my opponent's going to play Garboders down. We've barely played any items. Not much to worry about. Alright, so he's going to do trade. He is going to play the Choice Band. Yikes, that lets him two-shot me with Flying Flip. That's pretty dirty. That is pretty darn dirty, not going to lie. It's pretty bad. I really hope he can get Guzma. I don't want to let ho get knocked out by Flying Flip. I might have to just go Invasion and knock it out. No, we didn't get Guzma ripped. So no Guzma this turn. That kind of sucks. Um, We'll have to just settle with Invasion, I guess? Um, do I want to, I kind of want to hold this hand, so we'll do that. We will do Invasion, we do have to give up an energy. But we got more energy to discard, the better for Marowak. I'm going to hold the hand, though, for next turn. 
Um, I could have. I know I could have done Taint Liza too. Obviously, that would have worked, but I don't want to waste it. Lots of Phoenix burn him. You never know. We might survive the turn. He does need another DC. He has played two, and again, Special Charge and Puzzle are no longer in the format. But we can speculate what rotates out when that time comes. For now, let's enjoy this new standard format. Yeah, exactly. It's, we're thinking ahead too much. We are thinking ahead too much. But um, yeah, I'm going to be interested to see what happens. Yeah, Steven wants to go to the movies, Connor. Yeah. Hey, Connor. Wait, what did you say, Mark? Steven said he wants to go to the movies. Yeah. No Wonderland tomorrow, so... Yeah, that's another game. It's like Hearthstone, but it's Pokemon. So yeah, this, I mean, he could Trash Lanch me. But he gets there everywhere. He's, he's doing 40 there. damage right now at Trash Lanch. Even with a Choice Band, he won't finish me off, so. He has 3.2 Pulse. Mm-hmm. All right, so let's see what happens next. Yeah, that's all I got. We did touch a DC. He had the knockout. I'm assuming he has a Switch or something? I don't know why he would do that if he didn't. What? No. Taking, I don't really care though. That he said that. Taking that hurt my feelings. I think at this point though, Hobo's done his work. I could probably just go for Salazzle. I don't know. It depends. He's gonna do a Mallow. He's gotta take a knockout this turn. There's no way this guy didn't have it. Oh, well, we're actually we're two viewers off fifty. So that's gonna be if we can hit fifty viewers, that'd be hype. And again, guys, every five likes, my boy Mini UK is giving out a Guardians Rising pack. Every five likes. I don't know where we're at right now. Actually. Let me check. I can check real quick if I can go to my dashboard here. <laughs> no, I can't. For some reason, YouTube doesn't show streams. All right, never mind. Rip, rip the dream. I don't know. Ooh, okay, so he's got to take it on. There's no way he's just going to keep Garboder in the active. He had to have Mallow for a switch. Maybe he misclicked. Maybe, oh, maybe he top decked the DCE. He's got to play a switch, though. He's got to play a switch. There's no way he just brought out... There's no way he just brought out... Garboder. He had to have top decked that DC or else he wouldn't have done that. 51 watching now. Yo, hype. Does anyone know if Pichu's gender matters in evolution? I don't know. Yeah, I wouldn't know that. Oh, we need du And we drew Guzma. Bruh. That is a fatal bruh if I've ever seen one. The sumo on season is my least, my last senior division. My last senior division, I think, was like before Plasma Freeze came out. But that was around the time I quit. I don't think I was able to play much throughout Plasma Freeze. This is dirty. Garboder's not even KO'ing me with a choice band. This is dirty. We did this Zorak deck dirty. Anyone have Ludicolo for trade? I might have one Aqua. I might have a Ludicolo to trade. I don't know, though. I can, I can check. If I do, I could trade one. Depends on what you would give me. Yeah, I'm assuming he mallowed for another DCE. Well, he's got three. He hasn't even taken a prize yet, so he might have a few DCs prized. Who knows? Who knows at this point? And he's going to do Cynthia, so... Yeah, he's desperately looking for the DC. Zoar Garb, guys, I think it does work in this new format. Um... I don't know. Zoar Bane and Zoar Garb are both pretty good decks. Maybe I'll do, like, a dual video. I've done it before. And he scoops. Ho Ho just obliterated him. Oh my gosh. I think we got lucky that last turn when my opponent didn't top deck the, uh, when he top decked that DC. He had to have done that. He he brought out Garboder just in case he didn't top deck DC, and then he top decks it. It did him dirty. Yeah, so our Garboder, I think it's okay. I think it does, I mean, it does obviously lose. I think maybe the best way to play it, play like heavy hammers. Play like two, three enhanced hammers. Cartana seems fine if you play the unit energy. Yeah, I think a disruption kind of build would be better. Because, I mean, that way, force your opponent to have to dig through and find more um, find more items. So there's that. Oh, incoming code. Please say who claimed it. Yeah, if you claim the code, guys. There you go. But that was a pretty clutch win. Fam, finally, they're forced to play Pulse Station. I know, dude. A-G-Z-Y-M. I know. It was so annoying. Three games in a row. Turn on Bridget. Turn on Bridget. Turn on Bridget. Oh, look, I'm going to end you. Great. Yeah, so, yeah, I'm glad it's finally on now. It's nice to do that. Nice, nice to have that. Now I can play Ladder. I want to have a Let Loose Marsh Shadow for trade. I only have two AV. I kind of need them. I don't know how much they're worth. I'm, I'm assuming they went up since the, uh, since the thing. How would you build the new Tag Team GX? Magnazone. Late game would have to be the best time to do it, though. Uh, alright, so, someone actually did request me to play Vikabulu. Um, I don't know if I want to play Vikabulu, though. 
I mean, I guess... Yeah, we'll go... For, we'll play some Vika Blue. Why not? I haven't played this deck in ages, so I might misplay. Did that Zohar garb dirty? I know. We... ho -Oh just creamed him. Alright, so... We'll see what we are playing against next. Obviously, we want to play against, like, a water deck, Kappa. But, yeah, the new Tag Team GX, I think, is really decent in Magna Zone, but you'd have to play it at the very end of the match when your opponent already kind of, already kind of took enough prizes, so even if you did get knocked out, you'd lose anyways. Like, if they have one or two prizes left to take, that would be the best time um, to do Tag Team GX. It is pretty broken. The power creep is real. Next thing you know, they're going to make a Pokemon that says you win the game when you, when you have all six... And you have all six cards in your hand, like Exodia. That'd be funny, though. Alright, so we do get double Bulu Star. We do get a Grubbin, which is good. It's a nice little starting hand. It's just so relieving not to worry about Parallel City. Usually with a hand like this, like, nice, got a lot of Pokemon, put them on the bench, Parallel City, turn one, and we have to discard two Pokemon. Not anymore. Do you think Tapu Koko would be a good fit to mix in with the Tag Team? Depends. The, the thing with Tag Team is it's more of a late-game thing, I think. Losing three prizes is too hard. Especially if you don't take enough prizes with Tag Team. I think the best way to make Tag Team work, if you're going to use it early on, and I think it's best to try and even the prizes and take also three prizes. Ooh, we're playing it Scizor. Um, what do I have that can deal with Scizor? I don't think I have anything. We'll just have to double Grubbin. And let's see if we hit turn two. Um, Vika Bolt. Maybe three Lilies is better, because again, that turn one Lily is really good. We don't hit the turn two Vika Bolt. Okay. We have Ultra Ball for next turn. If we top deck a... If we top deck a Volkner, um, I can make advantage of that. Don't have much post-rotation. It's all good, Aqua. Hopefully get hooked up. We almost have 60 viewers now. So again, guys, thank you for tuning in to the stream today. And I know I'm streaming on YouTube instead of Twitch. I don't know. I, YouTube's is better because the video just goes straight to my channel. The only reason I'd want to go onto Twitch is because I get to play music when I stream, and that would be kind of fun, in all honesty. But I don't know if you guys would like the music I listen to. I listen to a lot of, like, rap and stuff, like Migos and 21 Savage, Post Malone. I like a lot of pop music, though, so, I mean, there's that. And, all right, we drew a Grass Energy. So, we weren't able to really get what we needed. Um, we'll get rid of Switch and Grubbin. We'll grab Lele. What is the best way to get a Vika Bolt down? We do have Volkner's, but that won't get us Vika Bolt. I always thought Volkner was like Karina, but it's not. That'd be OP if it was. I could grab Lily. I'm only drawing two cards, though. Or if not, what did I just say? Four cards. We're only drawing four cards with Lily. So it's probably not worth it to play Lily. Maybe Cynthia instead would be better. Yeah, I think we, Cynthia gives us better odds. I'm going to play Scizor GX next format. Yeah, I do have a Scizor Garboder deck built for this new format. I might try that out. Pure Equaser GX or Vikavolt Ray. Vikavolt Ray all the way. Alright, we got him. Nice, nice. So it's good that we get a knockout too. What do I get rid of? I think Stretcher can go. Stretcher seems like the oddball though. Alright, really good there. We got that turn 2 Vikavolt hype. I think Vikavolt GX would be okay in this deck also. I don't know what purpose it would do, but it wouldn't be bad. We'll do Strong Charge before we do um, Instruct. And we will knock out this Tapu Lele here, which is nice. Um, because that Prime Pan, though, we're not going to be able to knock out Scizor GX in one hit with a Choice Band, which is bad. Goose was pretty good, actually. And we'll knock him out. Not the best hand in the world, but we'll see. I don't know. Vigaboo's interesting. He's going to put a broken heart, so my opponent got hit dirty there. Oh, the Marshall's not for trade. Yeah, there you go. I prefer EDM. EDM's okay. I yeah, I'm not a fan of like stuff like that, but there's a few EDM songs I like. All right. So my opponent's going to bring out a Scyther. He does find the Scizor. So, I mean, there's really no way to one-shot him, so there's that. I could hit him with the funny thing here, I could actually nature's judgment him and not do the extra damage because Steel Wing would mean we're not even putting him below 100 HP. And then I can knock him out by discarding the energy the following turn. So we actually avoid the Steel Wing effect. Double Delmise though means he two-shots me, which is scary. 
what I could next turn, if I can top deck a Grass Energy, I could just Guzma, bring out Lele, and KO it that way. Probably better to maybe try and go for like a Tap Wilderness play, though. So we'll have to see what we get here off of our top deck. Not a great hand, though, to play. And he actually doesn't find energy. Yikes, that's a major yikes for my opponent. I'm actually going to play Cynthia first, because I will have more energies in deck, technically. Special, or what's that card called? Special Char. Hey, what is that hand? Wow. That's, that's definitely a hand, all right. Um... We only have three grass energies. Do I even want to grab the light energy? There's nowhere to put it. Alright, for now we're just gonna do horn attack. Actually, no, why didn't I put all the energies on him? <laughs> See, I told you guys I sucked with the Vikaboo. I told you I suck with it. Oh man, I knew I would make some dumb misplays with the deck. I should have put both energies on and then the next turn, because we're obviously not getting knocked out. I could have went f Ah oh, yeah, I don't know why I didn't do that. My bad, told you. I'm not very good with Vikaboo. I haven't played it in a while. You mean energy recycler? Yeah, that card. I don't even know if this is a good list. I don't know if I play the uh, Energy Retriever System, whatever that card's called, the, the, like the stretcher version of the Energies. I don't know if I play that. That's another card to play. I think this list needs some tweaking before we actually use it effectively. So yeah, this, this list needs some t major tweaking, unfortunately. It's whatever, though. ho -o game. Okay, we actually topped deck energy recycler. There you go. There we go. Okay. And we can do Tapper Wilderness. Not a KO, unfortunately. Or wait a minute. Do we have a KO? We could do Nature's Judgment, right? For 120. Nope. We're doing 60 less damage to him, so we don't have the knockout. So if I do attack them all in, I will get KO'd. I might need it, maybe, will we ever really need Tapu Thunder, though? I don't know if we're even going to get to a point where we do Tapu Thunder, so I don't really know what the best play here is. This is actually a really interesting spot to be in. I guess I go all in. No point doing Tapu Wilderness. All in it is. Kind of have to, wow. He has 60 HP remaining. I think I had to go all in there. There's not much I could have done otherwise, unfortunately. Not great. So this is where I think is a bad matchup for Vika Bulu, to be honest with you. Plus, I think my deck needs a bit of editing, in all honesty. I think the deck needs just a bit of a tweak. Just a bit of a tweak. Okay, he is playing DC, so maybe uh, Tapu Thunder is actually good to say. So that's good. He's going to actually goose him up my Vika Volt. Okay, that that's bad. We do have a big Volt in our hand, though. What he agilities me? That had to have been a misplay. He must have meant to retreat. Oh my goodness. Well, we aren't able to get Vigavolt the active despite having a bunch of Guzmas and Tates, so that's actually bad on its own. Not great. Um, I mean, he's definitely gonna retreat next turn, so we definitely have to go for strong charge. Definitely have to play strong charge here. Yeah, that's fine. And, I mean, I doubt he'll misplay again, but you never know. I mean, maybe that wasn't even a misplay. Who knows? I think it's safe. Just use Vigable's ability. We do have a Vigable in our hand. We can draw Volkner, Rare Candy. We can go for the Vigable again, so we should hopefully be okay. Now he's going to play another Scizor down. Yikes. We are resistant to metal. He'd have to use a Jack stack to knock me out. Which I'm fine with. He's only get one prize. He's going to copycat me for five. Okay. He's going to field blower me. Alright. He's playing two blowers. Rip. I was only expecting him to play one, but no he's playing two. And he's going to GX me. So, this is where things get interesting. We can KO him here if we can get an energy, a grass energy top deck, or a way to get energy in play. Nope. Coco isn't helping much either. This really sucks. Uh, 
What to bring up? Uh, we'll play Nest Ball. Let me check the deck. We have three candies. We have a bunch of spores, so it's kind of all down to what we draw. I just don't have a way to get energy back, so yeah. Maybe this deck needs some editing before we actually move on. I'm not even going to grab anything, because we can always top deck Lele. Why is this so much I think I'm going to goose him up this guy. I'm going to bring out a Ranguru, though. We'll let a Ranguru get knocked out if worse comes to worse. And before he has Goose in his hand. We'll see. Not a good spot. And alright, there you go, guys. Another Guardian's Rising Code has been dropped in the chat from Mini as we hit another five like milestone. I don't even know what likes we're at. I can't really check, unfortunately. If I open up YouTube here on my Mac, it doesn't even say that I'm streaming. Um, but hopefully, Delmai Stall gives us a few turns to uh, get back to where we were. We do have Tapu Thunder, and yeah, he has five energies in place, so we have the option to Tapu Thunder him. The win is not out of the picture yet. May that early game Lele KO, the early game Lele KO may have actually been really important to win the game. Bro, my mic was muted. Oh my gosh. Ah, uh, rip. Yeah, rip, guys. I had my mic muted. <sighs> yeah, I had to mute the mic. I'm at my friend's house. Like, I can't, like, I had to mute it every now and then. My bad. Didn't even realize I'm, I didn't unmute it, though. Yeah, sorry, guys, about that. Yeah. Alright, well, now it's unmuted, so we should be good. To get back into it. We'll open up a Celestial Storm pack. Hopefully get another Rayquaza GX. Yeah, I apologize for my mic being muted there. My bad. Alright, here we go. Rayquaza GX Full Art. Nope. First all Lantern. And we... Yeah, yeah, sure. Another Shrine Punch is fine. I can probably trade one of those off for a pack. Yeah. My bad, guys, for the sound there. Had to mute the mic. Um, Vika Bulu. So I think we do need this. I think Marshadow can go. I was going to play Marshadow for Zoark. I don't honestly think it's needed at this point, though. I think Escape Work can go. We're going to need we're gonna need some Energy card, energy Recycle cards. So, uh, Energy Recycle System. Yeah, let's play this. There we go. Boom. That seems a little bit better for a Vika Blue deck. I don't mind Vika Blue GX in here, though, in all honesty. Maybe take out a, a, a Charger Book. Okay, OBS took a dump on the stream. Now I had to, I muted the mic for a quick sec, um, and I just forgot to mute it. But uh, it is what it is. 
You moving your phone? I'm gonna have to meet it there again. Um, Alright, now what to play next? Okay, so we played a fair amount of decks, per se. I might actually just play an older deck, like one of my Zygarde decks. Kinda, I'm down to play Zygarde, like Rock Macargo. Let's play that. Anyone have Shrine of Punishments on PC Joe for trade? Yeah, there you go. Ooh, we're playing against a Zork deck, most likely. That's really good. It looks like Zork Lycanroc, though. I think previous turn, you could have Tapu Thundered, but I guess you didn't uh, want to risk losing the energy. Yeah, exactly. If I had a Guzma play, I would have went for it, um, but I didn't have it. I'm surprised he conceded, though. The game was far from over, um, but hey, whatever. Free win, I guess. Okay, so we got a baby buzz start, which is fine. Not a bad hand at all. Not a bad hand at all. At least the mic is not muted now after I just muted it, so that's good. Whoa, 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 whoa. Crushing Hammer Rainbows Units. What? Okay, this is going to be an interesting matchup, I'm assuming. This game is going to be very interesting. Get draw some extra cards. Okay, that's a really good hand. That's a really good hand. Oh, he's playing a stall deck? Are you serious? Okay, well, that's not actually too terrible. We don't have that many cards to attack him with, though, unfortunately. But, I mean, we can do this. We can two-shot him with Sledgehammer. Shrine of Punishment is expensive. Yeah, it's like, I think it's worth like 0 0.75 or something like that. I don't think it's worth a pack. Yeah, Shrine is so good, yeah. It's an amazing stadium. This matchup might be a little annoying. He's playing Zerka Tree probably too. He's probably got a lot of stuff, but we're going to hit mostly stuff for weaknesses. I think we're avoiding Mr. Mime. Ooh, Skullgarden, but boy, look at that hand. It's full of supporters. I'm going to do another Nest Ball. I don't really know what he plays to stop my uh, Buzz here. With any luck, he's not even going to attack me. Oh, he is attacking me. Rip, I was hoping he wouldn't be attacking me here. Okay, well, I'm going to Guzma him then. I think we're damaging Mr. Mime, right? We're doing 80. Oh, no. Oh, we're not damaging. Who invented Mr. Mime? Oh, I'm just... Do I even want to play? I don't want to play this out. Why? But... Of course, I'm playing a salt. Got rid of that. Uh, get rid of that skateboard, dude. The best performing Bulu list, which talked to regional, had no switch cards other than Guzma. Taint Lizes are enough. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I took out the skateboard. It's probably not needed. All right, actually, let's just play Butch Shrine Macargo. That was bad luck. I did not want to play against that matchup. It's all good though. Yeah, that matchup. Yeah, don't even want to bother playing it out. And playing as a spread deck. Okay, we're playing against some annoying decks here, guys. That's not fun. Spread is another one of those matchups that's like, it's kind of annoying to play against. So they do so many, they, it's an, I don't know, spread, uh, stall decks like the Mr. Mime deck, which, they're all annoying, so not looking forward to this. We did start with a Slugma, which isn't great. We do have Beast Energy, though. It's going to mulligan. Two annoying decks in a row, it looks like, though. Yeah, it's a spread deck. Rip, 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 rip. Hopefully we can play against better decks later on. The spread ain't too fun, not gonna lie. My eye is so itchy right now, guys. I'm sorry about it. Ugh. I didn't get much sleep. I only got, like, in total five, six hours of sleep today. I had to go to a funeral today. I had to wake up early, and I keep going to bed super late at night despite starting college in, like, a week time. So it's like, I need to fix that sleeping schedule very, very soon. Um, Alright. Maybe it's not a spread deck, though. Slugma's trapped in the active is not nice, though, because the problem here, with Slugma being trapped in the active, it's very easy for him to... Like, if I don't find a switching card eventually, he's, that's a lot of damage he's able to spread, which is not safe. So we gotta be careful here. Maybe he's just not playing a spread deck, though. Who knows? Ooh, maybe Buzzle's a start. So yeah, next turn we can just go Beast Energy knock him out. Okay, this is a lot better. Whoa, Nest Ball for another 
Don't want to go crazy on the Pokemon, but it's fine to grab another Buzzle. Kind of want to hold the hand. Kind of don't at the same time. Well, Cynthia. I would have played the Beast Energy. He's probably playing Enhanced Hammer, and I'm looking for like a way to switch out. And there we do. We have Kate and Eliza. I know how you feel. I had to use Lycanroc GX Speed Mr. Mime because I forgot um, to have put on Choice Band. I have Buzzle GX ready for Knuckle Impact. My man, yeah. I don't know. Mime's one of these. It's not going to see play at all, in my opinion, but if someone's going to play a stall deck, you know, rip in the chat. He's going to do Copycat. He, if he doesn't find DC here, we might win the game if we can top deck a um, Diancy or a Beast Energy. Ooh, Shine. Ooh, he is playing Hammers. That's bad. He gets Tails, though, which is good. Okay, another Crushing Hammer. Gets Tails again. That's good. And he's going to pass. So we might be able to win here. I don't think that's a win. Okay. I'm trying to think. If I had Macargo right now... Yeah, if I had Macargo, I'd win the game, I think. Because I could do Smooth Over. And then Kate, Liza, Smooth Over. No, maybe not. Maybe I am stuck. I don't want to put too many Pokemon on the bench. I guess we gotta go Cynthia again. I could attack him, but we're not knocking him out. Probably should have retreated. Yeah, maybe I should have. You know what? Actually, I could put the Rainbow Energy on. I could do this. Yeah, I probably should have done that Tink Lies and just attacked him with Buzzwool, but... Hitting him for 10 doesn't seem bad either, and then he gets knocked out by Sledgehammer. He only has three cards in hand, so who knows at this point what'll happen. Not the best at matches, though. <laughs> or matchups, to say the least. Hey, glad to see you streaming, man. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Yeah, I thought I'd stream. It's a perfect day to stream. Obviously, new formats out. Um, he's putting Lele down. He has two cards in hand, and one of them is a Cynthia rip. Hopefully, he whips an energy here. I don't... Ah, uh, he hits it. Dang it. I wonder if he has any way to get the energies back, though. Flying flip me. Oh my goodness. Here comes the annoying stuff. And we got a rainbow energy. Alright, that's probably the only game I can play. Mm, I hate to do this, but I do want to do Lily. I don't want to play, again, I don't want to play too many Pokemon down. He has that in play. I am going to play this down. Obviously, we play no GXs, so it's fine. Didn't get him a cargo there. That's bad. I was hoping we would get him a cargo. And. We don't even not, bro. I, you know what? Screw this. I don't even want to. I thought I had Deontay in play. Whatever. Again, I don't want to play against spread. It's not a very fun deck to play against in general. Let's just move on. Playing against two little annoying decks in a row. Let's uh, see if we can see if things change. Caparos. Yeah, that matchup I don't think was going anywhere, especially because I only did sixty. I did the math wrong. Ooh, playing against a Necrozma deck, a Malamar deck. This is gonna be an interesting game. I haven't tested against Malamar. This might be bad. Obviously, Buzzle is and Garb are both weak to the Malamars. Yeah, Malamar and also stuff like Dawlings. This might be a bit of a hard matchup per se. Once he plays Bayonet GX, is there any other special energy retrieval? Not in this deck, no. Um, not in this deck. I don't really think you need the energy retrievals in this deck, um, as opposed to like other builds. Um, obviously, there's stuff like Bayonet, Decidueye, and another big one is, of course, a Ranguru. I wonder if a Rangu will ever get banned and expanded. I'm on an 11 win streak with that same Buzzle deck. Yo, nice, Mayburn. I saw a post on Reddit, and they, were, I, I, they never mentioned my name, but I'm pretty sure they, they had the same list as me, so that was kind of cool. I wonder if anyone, if you're from Reddit. I played three Guzzler today. Oh my gosh. I wonder how Guzzle are doing this new format. There's a lot of decks to try out. No, I mean, oh, right now in the new format. Yeah. Yeah, there's stuff like a Rangu Bay. I don't actually, I don't, am I, am I reading that right? I don't know. The weird decks are out today, lol. I've been facing them too. Yeah, I don't know what to say, man. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, we don't play against them again, Kaparos. Yeah, there's Energy Recycler System, which is basically Rescue Stretcher, but for basic energies. Ooh, that's a really big top deck. Um, we'll do Cynthia, no point. I mean, I could have Ultra Ball for Slugma. What's your energy count in this deck? Um, we didn't hit. Speaking of energy counts, AV, we didn't hit one. Rip. Um, 
I got five basic fighting, a beast energy, four rainbows, and one psychic. I think that's the energy count. No basic energy sucks. We are going to get some shrine and punishment damage in. I had one judge to mine and something else don't remember. Yeah, I saw that post. It was word for word the same as you posted. Yeah, I, yeah, I saw in the list there was like a judge. Um, one list also, someone updated, had multiple copies of Beast String. But yeah, it was kind of cool. I always like seeing, like, getting, like, sh mentioned on Reddit. I don't know why. I mean, it just puts a smile on my face. You know, like, Thanos, this does put a smile on my face. Uh, Buzzle might get KO'd this turn. Our hand is not the greatest, unfortunately. However, maybe top decking Macargos would change that. So special energy are unretrievable unless you play those two cards. But yeah, basically, there's Hollow Hunt also on Decidueye. But other than that, I don't think there's any other way to retrieve energy, unfortunately. So, yeah, it's a bit of a stalemate. And wow. We just can't hit anything today. We could put a Ranguru down. He's played two items. I guess I can go for Trubbish. Doesn't really matter what I go for. I don't think so. That kind of sucks. No energies, and our hand is kind of unplayable, too. Guzma's kind of out of the picture, also, because, you know, Dawn Wings. Yeah, it's a sick deck. Thanks for sharing it, LOL. You know, no problem, Maver. No problem. Yeah, I wanted to convert the deck to a, stand, a Pulse Rotation deck. I didn't want to just play the World's List. There's no point, because, you know, rotation, right? Like literally one day after the list probably got online. There's no point. So I was like, let's convert to full station. And this Macargo engine, I'm really liking it. Yeah, for now anyways, Richard. I would not be mad, though, if Special Charge got reprinted. Special Energy is just harder to come by now, I think. There's a lot of Special Energies to use, like Units, DCEs, Counter Energy, Beast Energy. But outside of that, yeah, there's not much. This man got another, another thing. Another altar, and he's not even KOing me, which is really good. Alright, can we see a beautiful top deck here? Nope, I don't play Tapu Lele. That is very sad. Um, Do I want to stay and keep him in the active? I, I'm tempted to bring out Malamar here. I don't think there's much of a point, though, so it doesn't really matter. If he KOs me, it's whatever, I guess. We'll get rid of Guzma. Yeah, I guess that's what happens when you don't run Lele in your um, decks that don't have Lele. So, there you go. It's whatever, though. Hopefully, the Shrine actually stays in play today. But we're getting some nice damage built up, which is good. But yeah, I think after this game, I might do, like, one more match. And then I gotta record a video. And then... Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for stopping by today, guys. Um, I'm going to see if I can stream again sometime in the future. I do want to, obviously, stream more. It's hard. Again, my internet's not the greatest. Most of my streams, sometimes the internet poops out for a few minutes. It's not that entertaining when that does happen. So then, like, the stream, I think, like, freezes and lags a little bit. It's kind of weird. Okay, so he's going to knock me out here, it looks like. Um, no, he's not retreating. I forgot. This guy. What are you, fool? Okay, we are just not getting any good draws today. This is sad. Trying to punishment, though, is putting a whop ton of damage on the board. However, this man's got Tapu Cure up his arsenal. So I'm kind of scared. Any ideas for my Raichu Tapu Koko Magnezone deck? Yeah, um, I think Raichu might be better with the new Minetric, to be honest with you. Um, sadly, Pachirisu doesn't work with Raichu anymore. Wow, okay. We just aren't drawing very well. I kind of want to keep that Guzma, too. I don't want to lose Guzma. I don't want to play it either. That's not really a good idea, in my opinion. We might just win this game off for Shrine of Punishments. I am a little scared of Tapu Kier, though. Any top deck ability, this is where the game falls apart. Any idea about any uh, cheap Rodex for standard? Yeah, Franco, I am playing one right now. Playing Garboder, Buzzle, Shrine of Punishments. This deck plays no Tapu Lele. My list plays no Lele. However, we are not drawing very well right now. All right, my opponent will take a KO here, but we are putting a ton of damage on board. I'm just really hoping he doesn't go for Tapu here. That would be so devastating. Especially with a fresh Tapu Lele instead. Well, it's only two Pokemon, right? Okay, so some of the Pokemon stay heavily damaged. But whatever. I think Bilal's coming. Are mm -mm, Wonderland. <sighs> Look at the Shrine doing work. Yeah, this is the most I've done with Shrine, to be honest with you. How many... Two eyes. Uh, so I still played four items. We're doing 80. I mean, I don't think we'll get the knockout with Garb. Okay, there we go. Finally got an energy. We have B-String, which is pretty good. 
I think I have to play this, to be honest with you. I need to keep thinning out the deck a little bit. Really wish we had Macargo. This is kind of where the Macargo engine comes into play. It's just... My boy Macargo is you know, kind of asleep right now. We're going to get knocked out by uh, Dark Flash, it looks like. It's fine. We get yeah, we get, we get 60 damage on the board. Not bad. Yeah, Shrine saved my ass against Zor Garb earlier. Yep, Shrine is a really strong stadium. Probably one of the best stadiums apart from Brooklyn Hill in this new format. Damn, bling bling dude. Yeah, I always try to bling out myself on PCGO. I just need one more Full Art Cynthia. And then maybe a third Full Art Lily. But one more Full Art Cynthia is really the last Full Art I need. Until I'm more blinged out in this new format. That's one thing that cheesed me with the rotation. Because the Full Art Sycamore Full Art Ends that I've had, you know, I can't use them anymore in standard. So the bling goes away. And that's why I think I got... Did I get a Cynthia from... I can't remember how I got my other, my third Cynthia. I might have just traded a bunch of useless stuff away for it, but I can't remember if I traded any packs for it on, like, Forbidden Light when it came out. I was going to do, like, day one Celestial Storm, I was going to trade off my packs for a Cynthia. I was thinking of doing that. Probably should have. I did trade off 15 Celestial Storm packs for a full art Guzma, though. Ooh, he's getting damaged. Poor Peter. I'm actually surprised he's not going to buzz. Well, yeah, I activate Sledgehammer now, which KOs him. Very odd play by my opponent. Now I wish I held that Guzma because I could have KO'd Lele. He's going to do the heal next turn on those two Necrozmas. That's going to be devastating. There we go, boys. We got Cynthia. I think I need the Nest Balls and like a few Rainbows. Yeah, it's not too hard to come by. I don't think so. There's a Stretcher. That's another good top deck. Probably should have played that B-String. Whatever. We still have Sledgehammer. So I guess if he does go Tapu Kier, we still have Sledgehammer active. So it's like, yo, bro. Now yeah, we'll attach here. Sledgehammer does indeed knock him out. Like, yes, indeed. Wham, 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 bitch. I'm a little baby. All four. Rip. There's Macargo. There we go. I think I need the Nest Balls and a few Rainbows. If you, oh, are you talking about Secret Rare? Um, things, Richard? Yeah, Nest Ball for some reason goes for so much right now. Yeah, Shrine TP is good. Okay, yeah. He's going for the Tapu Cure. No. Maybe he's not. All right, guys, we are back. I just meet Mike again. He's going to concede. We won. All right, not bad. Um, and we get some daily challenges done. Got a lot of daily challenges done. Jeez, what do we got, like, 100 coins here? No, we got a tourney ticket. Of course we did. Yeah, I think I need the nest balls and a few rainbows. Oh, no, I saw that. Already saw that. I have two of the Plasma Freeze Ultra Balls, but I'm happy with having a split at the moment. Yeah, split's fine. I guess they're both decent artworks. They're both decent artworks, to be honest with you. All right, sorry about that. Uh, let's just do Zagard. Let's do Zagard Macargo again. You think Trashlands has potential now? If so, what would it be played with? I think Trashlands is still good. Um, you know, Zoar Garb could still work. Um, either you know stuff like Zoar Garb, Garbodor Espion, maybe Garb Drampa is good. Garb Bayonet, Garb Magius. I think Garb is still decent. I think it's okay right now. Garb did win worlds. There you go. Ooh, rock rough start. Not a bad hand. It looks like I'm playing against a holo deck. I got Lily Flirt. If you end up wanting one, yeah, I, I might need a third one. Which one is it? Is it the uh, the Sun and Moon base one or the other one? I mean, both are decent artworks. But I, I like the Sun and Moon base a bit more. I'm an old school guy. I like playing the older artworks. I kind of want to trade off my uh, uh, my what what are they the the rare candies from Guardians Rising for rare candy from um. Plasma, what was it? Plasma Blast? Yeah, Secret of Plasma Blast candies. I kind of want to get those and trade off my, uh, my, uh, Guardians Rising Secret Rare candies, but I don't know if that's even a good trade. Shut up. 
All right. So, well, Brooklyn Hill. You didn't get a turn on Kiawe, it looks like, which is Gucci. Like Brooklyn Hill. Brooklyn Hill, big boy. Or Peter. I right, will put slug my death. Wait, 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 wait. All right. We'll attach the active. Doesn't look like we're getting an attack next turn, which is good. Um, probably want to put choice ban on Zygarde. Zygarde's probably going to be better against Ho-Oh here. Yeah, the Plasma Blast candy. I do want to trade off my Guardians Rising uh, candies for those candies. Wow, this is a bad hand. I do want to trade off those, but I don't know. I don't think it's worth it. I don't know how much the Guardians Rising candy is compared to the Plasma Blast one. But Plasma Blast candies are better, in my opinion. They are better. No, oh my god, I think I am. No. Oh. Alright. Oh, no, he's playing a Silvali deck. Okay, this is actually even better. This is a better matchup for us. Okay, still attacking to a Ranguru, which is interesting. Curious to one. I'm curious to why. And, alright, it looks like he's just getting struck. Okay. I guess I'm going to have to retreat into Zygarde here and knock him out with Cell Connector. I can still put the energy on, I guess. Nah. Not a great top deck. We're going to have to just Cell Connector knock him out here, I think. I kind of want a Dangerous Rogue, but, you know, whatever. Doesn't matter. I think it's better to go here. We can do Smooth Over, guarantee a top deck next turn. What would the best one be, though? Can't really do Guzma, so I guess... I guess Cynthia it is. I could grab, like, Kikui, too. Or maybe, like, Cephaliki or stuff. I don't know how to say that name, but I could grab that, too. We'll just knock him out Cell Connector. You know, put the energy on. Maybe, well, I don't think he's going to attack me next turn. He doesn't have any other energy in place, which should be good. I think maybe I should grab Guzma. Or Peter. According to Outcast, Plasma Blast is slightly more expensive than Guardians Rise Packs. About three packs of difference. Interesting. Hmm, yeah, I don't know. I don't want to trade off my Guardians Rising packs to... I mean, obviously, I can put up a pub trade where it's like, here, I'll give you Secret Rear Guardians Rising candy, and I'll give you two two packs of Celestial Storm, and you give me that Plum Blast candy. I don't know if that would go through, though, on pubs. Hopefully it does. I think I'm going to Verdict him here. Knock out this guy with Verdict, then he can't attack me with Ho-Oh. Wah, 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 I'm a little baby. Stop. What are you doing? All right. Um, do we want to do Brooklyn Hill again? Hey, Little Dark Fury, glad to be back on stream. You all good, eh, carry on? And yeah, I'm streaming here, obviously, as you can see. Um, do I want Brooklyn Hill? It doesn't really matter, to be honest. Maybe not, maybe not, because I don't want to walk into Dangerous Rogue, or whatever it's called. Okay. This is going to be the turn where I grab Bonnie. No, we have Bonnie in our hand. What am I doing? No. Brookwood Hill. We're going to grab Brookwood Hill this turn so we can do another Verdict. Yeah, I think it's fine. Boom, Verdict GX. Best GX tech in the game, Tepharos. Alright, and we got 55 viewers, guys, so the stream is pretty lit today, and I'm glad you guys are enjoying today's live stream. So my opponent will play down at my boy Tapu Lele. Let's see what he does. He has no way to attack Zygarde right now. Obviously... Wait, did I actually grab Broken Hill? Oh, I forgot Verdict discards the stadium. It doesn't. You have to do it after you do Bonnie. Okay, well, then there was no point in doing that, but whatever. What what do I know? So, yeah, maybe I shouldn't have grabbed that. It's fine, though. I mean, what else would I really grab, though? Maybe Lycanroc GX? But we can save Lycanroc for when we want to finish off Silvali GX, so we're not in any rush. Zygarde can deal with ho -Oh. So, yeah. Now, I don't know if they know in the chat. I actually remember when you said you broke the market by trading Charizard Avatar boxes for Ultra Balls. Yep, that was, what, two years ago? I think it was in, like, February, March of um, 2016. Yeah, I bought a bunch of those Charizard Avatar boxes, and I tr I opened most of them, but I traded off, like, a bunch of them to Gangly. I don't know if he, I don't know if he still plays or not, but, yeah, that's how I got a bunch of those. That's how I got a bunch of Ultra Balls. I just went ham on the trades. I'm actually going to get Lycanroc. No, I, I need to save him, though. It doesn't even matter. Let me guess. Yeah, M's in the bank. Stop. Do I want another Bonnie? Yeah, I think it's fine. Double down on the Bonnies. 
Verdict still KOs him here too, which is really good. Now, do I want to do Acrobite now? Nah, it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, well, Broken Hill, I think, at this point, too, get another... And I just shuffled my deck. Brilliant play. It's fine, we have Acrobike, it's whatever. Yeah, we'll do Bonnie. And we'll do Verdict, knock out Donwings here for the KO. Now, all we have to do next turn is just win the game. Which we can do. Alright, so, my opponent is well played. It's a rip in the chat. In the chat, yeah, I think Ho is good again. I'm trying out a whole Marowak deck because you guys saw on stream earlier we destroyed that Zork deck, which feels good, man. If I do say so myself, but yeah, we can go Lycanroc next turn and we should be able to win the match. Should be able to win. Verdict is just really good right now. My opponent has no way damage me. Nice deck, dude. Thank you, Minnie. Yeah, again, this I obviously just converted the uh, I just converted the Worlds deck. I, I didn't really know what the list had. I don't know if he even played Octillery or not. I can't remember if Clyde played it. Oh, yeah, you're in a chess on five minutes. Old line. I guess Nate. All right, so my opponent's going to do Ultra Ball. I, I mean, how can they how can they recover this turn? Trap down in the active. Pray that everything I have to switch is my last prizes. But rip. Wait, I played Zork McCargo for the Nashville Open and did good. Thirty fourth. Thanks for the suggestion. Nice, nice, Aircon. Nice. That Ho deck isn't very well built. It's really awkward. I mean, I wouldn't hate on that. It is still like day one though for uh, for post station. I think right now Ho is decent with uh, Kiawe and Marowak. The Rayquaza is interesting, but that means you have to mix up the energy a little bit. Suicune is finally getting a GX. Too bad it's kind of mediocre. Yeah, Suicune's not the greatest. But Rip 34th, it's all good, Icarus. At least you had fun, hopefully, and it's all really all that matters. Digigo's gaming. Anyone else upset over Lost March? No. I mean, the thing with no. the thing with Lost Marches is, is that it's not like Night March because Night March is like they pop off on turn one. Lost March probably won't do that. I mean, last thing I checked. A little sorry, I was late. I was at league testing Scizor stall. All good, Pokemon Trainer. Devin here. All good, bro. His ability is good, and the GX tech is decent, but his non-GX tech is too expensive. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, Raikou, Entei, and Suicune are just pretty unplayable GXs in general, to be honest. They're not that great. They are not that great. Now, do I want to play... Shut up. Uh, what to play here? Um, Obviously, we could test out more decks. Let's play Buzzwell Macargo. I'm playing Dustmate with Magnet Zone Pulse Station. Uh, hold on before I read that. Let me just see what type it is. Um, I'm playing Dustmate and Can you do a video on a version of yours? I want to see what other people play with it. Yeah, I do have a Dustmate uh, Magnet Zone deck built for Pulse Station, and I might look at that soon. Probably sometime next week or the end of the week. He should just play the normal build with Ho-Oh, Slazzle, and Lele. Yeah. I don't know. And Volcanion helps a whole lot. Yeah, Volcanion's a huge loss for Ho-Oh just because... Well, you can't do Steam Up anymore. You have to rely on Choice Band to knock out Zork GX. Yeah, I love that deck. Yeah, I don't know if Zork McCargo will be any good in this new format, obviously, but who knows. Take a Nick Tebow. Shut up. This taken joke. Taken, that was a horrible taken joke. Alright, so we started with Buzzwool. We got a Ranguru. I saw Grass and Metal. Another Scissor deck, it looks like. Noivern, Mr. Mime, GX. Interesting. I do have a Noivern uh, Weavile deck built post station. That, hopefully, video will come on that soon. My opponent was using a Gold Rush and used Lady three turns in a row. I had Copycat. Dang. I wonder if Marowak would be good post station or not. What are you doing? Hold hang yourself. Alright, so we'll play Acro Bike. First, we do Lily. Alright. Sorry, Taint Eliza, you gotta go. Wow. Yo, Arthur, what is it? Lily for five. Let's see. Nice. We got Nest Ball. Nest Ball's pretty good. He's playing Scizor, it looks like. Something to note. Oh, do we actually prize both slugs? Oh my gosh. Wow. How many Macargo on that deck? Yeah, I got a 2 2 line, Josh. Unfortunately, though, we prize both Slugmas. That's actually amazing. Uh, I guess we'll grab another Buzzwool. Sure. That's pretty unfortunate. That's fine. We'll do uh, Hammer or 
Hammerhead, Jet Punch next turn. So excited to see Buzzle. Yeah. I like Buzzle, man. Buzzle Pulse Station, I think, is still good because you have Beast Ring and Jet Punch is still powerful. I think the deck is alright still. It's not like. Yeah, Buzzle does lose, obviously, strong energy, which is a massive loss. Feels bad, man. Slug's got prized. Yeah, I know. Never's happened before. Ooh, he's actually going to trap me in the active. He can hit me for weakness. If he hits that as an agility, I'll be a little sad, but I don't think I have a way to knock him out unless I hit my beast energy, which I could have, but obviously still surprised. And he hits head. Wow. Is it only in the active? Hmm. I think the effect will reset, and we juke Huey, which would have let us KO'd him next turn. That's a big rip. If Cure Stream was one water and one colorless for 120, then the card will be playable because the effect is Seam Scissors first attack. Yeah. It sucks. We never even got a uh, Suicune EX either. Which, you know, whatever. I'm actually... Uh, why did... No, I meant to do Guzma. Whatever. We'll do Cynthia. I meant to do Guzma. That's my bad. I wasn't thinking. Well, stop. What are you doing? And there's another code in the chat, guys. Again, every five likes mini English is giving out a pack. We'll save the acrobatic. I misplayed so hard there. I didn't play Guzman like an idiot. Like an idiot. Oh my god, stop. <laughs> can you show this lift after you finish the game? Yeah, I can air carry on if you want. I mean, you can probably get a good understanding of the list too. But yeah, I can I can give you guys a quick peek of it. That sucks though. He's able to get a lot going on. And he's gonna copycat for a big hand. Oh, Scissor seems like a really good deck all of a sudden, guys. We struggle with Vika Bulu. Oh, Dark Voyager's back in the shop. Taken Dark, I'm taking I want to get Dark Voyager. Taken I also... Is it? Let me guess, hold, hold, hold. Ooh, he puts down a shrine. Oh, I don't know. Whoa, I didn't even know this all... What the hell? I didn't even know that existed. Alright, well. Yeah, guys, this, this win is looking not very good. <laughs> what was that? Uh, I think Zygarde's actually better in this matchup than Buzzwool. Question is, are we gonna be able to get an energy for it? Don't look like it. I'm gonna grab Brooklyn Hill. Stop making noises. What are you dumb? Um. All right, my cargo can go. Don't look like we're gonna be able to play a Rangu this turn though. I shut up with the noise. <laughs> I told. I'm just gonna scoop. I don't know. That I don't know how I'm gonna win that, guys. All right. Well, you want to see the list real quick? I carry on. I can show you guys. We have been streaming for a good like almost two hours now. So it's probably a good idea. Ah, oh, man. I don't know. We've been streaming for two hours. I am kind of losing my voice here. And again, I am going out soon. Yeah, Flying Flip has three arts. I didn't even realize that. That that shiny artwork might be better than the other artworks we have. So, yeah. Um, yeah, it is alternate art. Um, here's the list if you want to quickly check it out. I got ten basic fighting, one base energy, and yeah. I am decide I decided to play Zygarde in case we play against like a psychic deck. Just see if it'll swing the favor. Who knows? Who knows where did my friend go? There gotta be hiding in that room. <laughs> what the heck? I've gotta be on the ground. That's that ticket that scared me. All right. Well, anyways, guys, I think I'm gonna wrap the stream there. We've almost been streaming for two hours. We played a lot of decks. Um, but I do still have to like record a video and everything. I don't know if I'm gonna do. But thanks for stopping by today, guys. I hate to end the stream on 50 viewers, but again, it's been streaming for two hours, and yeah, I gotta head out soon. But yeah, thanks for stopping by, guys. We played. We had some fun with these post chase decks. I'm gonna try and stream. I'll try tomorrow. I'll try the. I'll try uh, Thursday. Actually, no, I won't be able to Thursday. Who wants to throw money at me? Oh yeah, I won't be able to stream on Thursday. Unfortunately, I'm going out. Um, oh rip, yeah. All right, see you on the next one. Yeah, it's third party site. You get access, including future sets. Hmm. I'm about to sub. All right, Yoakwo. Yeah, make sure you do. But yeah, thanks for stopping by, guys. And yeah, I'll try and stream very soon, hopefully. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.